Hey guys, welcome to our channel, A Smarter House, your permanent solution for all your smart home queries and problems. A smart home protocol is a language used by gadgets to communicate with one another. They may now share information and control each other's operations. Any smart home device must be connected to the same network as its central hub or handling unit in order to function effectively. Today, we'll talk about these different smart home protocols used in the major smart home hubs. We'll discuss the pros and cons, as well as the interoperability of each smart home protocol. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now we'll start off with the Zigbee protocol. Zigbee is a smart home communication protocol that uses radio frequency rather than Wi-Fi to connect up to 65,000 smart devices in a mesh network. As a result, massive networks are conceivable in comparison to Z-Wave and Wi-Fi. In practice, a Zigbee network may support up to 240 devices. The Zigbee Alliance created the communication protocol in 2002 to build a standard for smart home applications with the benefit of low power usage for battery powered devices such as buttons and window sensors. The Zigbee Alliance now includes over 500 companies ranging from semiconductor manufacturers to smart home product makers. The Zigbee standard is maintained and published by the Alliance. The most recent standard is Zigbee 3.0, which is backward compatible with all prior Zigbee profiles and consolidates the previously congested profiles into a single one for home automation. Pros of Zigbee. Zigbee technology can accommodate thousands of nodes at the same time. A single network may accommodate up to 65,000 nodes. This contributes to the transmission range being extended further. When compared to a single router, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth, Zigbee provides greater transmission range stability. The Zigbee technological structure is extremely adaptable. It is also less priced and has an uncomplicated installation method. The Zigbee technology is simple to monitor and regulate. Cons of Zigbee Zigbee technology is highly susceptible to network interference. This is due to network overload and channel noise. Because Zigbee is designed for low rate data transmission, the technology employed in it has a low bit rate. There are numerous security risks associated with Zigbee technology. There are several causes for this. The size and range of the network influence the cost of Zigbee deployment, which can be expensive. Z-Wave. The Z-Wave protocol is a wireless radio frequency, RF, based communications technology that is specifically designed for controlling, monitoring, and reading the status of household applications. Z-Wave allows comprehensive mesh networks, allowing several Z-Wave devices to communicate with each other at the same time. Z-Wave enables secure and low power communication between Z-Wave enabled devices. Because of its interoperability, Z-Wave comprises a diverse ecosystem of intelligent goods that collaborate across brands and models. Because of Z-Sophisticated Waves technology, there is no interference from Wi-Fi, Zigbee, or other 2.4 GHz wireless technologies in a similar band. Over 50 million Z-Wave items have already been sold globally. Squid.link gateways enable Z-Wave Plus, which raises Z-Security Waves level. Pros of Z-Wave the construction of a Z-Wave network is simple and straightforward. It is also simple to add and remove Z-Wave devices from the system once it has been installed. Z-Wave devices utilize less power, resulting in significant cost savings in battery consumption. The household appliances are operated remotely, which provides the consumers with a great deal of convenience. Z-Wave devices are interoperable with other wireless IoT devices. Because Z-Wave technology-based devices are less expensive, the technology can be used to obtain great features and facilities once deployed. Cons of Z-Wave Because the coverage is limited, additional Z-Wave devices are required to cover a greater area. If more Z-Wave repeaters or routers are used, the overall cost rises. It only supports tree topology structures. It only supports 232 nodes, which is less than the 65,000 nodes supported by the Zigbee standard. It has a lower data connection speed of up to 100 kilobytes per second when compared to Zigbee. 
Bluetooth Mesh Network A Bluetooth Mesh Network is a network of devices or nodes that are connected to as many other nodes as possible in a direct, dynamic, and non-hierarchical manner. The nodes communicate with one another by transferring data. A Bluetooth Low Energy Mesh Network is a mesh net that uses BLE technology. Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE, was first introduced by the Bluetooth Special Interest Group in 2009. It was fully included in Bluetooth 4.0 in early 2010. The new technology was created for smart connectivity solutions that demand little electricity. However, the capabilities of Bluetooth Low Energy Networks were fairly limited. Bluetooth Low Energy enabled one-to-one -one communication, with simple units within a network communicating solely through the central hub. In 2017, the Bluetooth Mesh Networking Standard was released, which changed the game. The Mesh Profile specification, which was added to Bluetooth 5, allows for many-to-many -many communication. Pros of Bluetooth Mesh Network It has a longer range since nodes can relay messages to nodes that are far away. Bluetooth Mesh nodes are capable of self-healing. When a node drops or falls from the network, the other nodes in the network handle message transmission to the other nodes. It encourages global interoperability. As a result, products from one vendor will operate smoothly with those from another vendor. BLE mesh devices are backward compatible with other BLE devices that do not support the mesh protocol. Because the friendship node concept, it consumes less power than other mesh systems. Cons of Bluetooth Mesh Network Bluetooth mesh topology, like wireless mesh, is more sophisticated and difficult to develop and maintain. Bluetooth mesh is not suitable for audio and video transmission. Because Bluetooth mesh has a lesser bandwidth than Wi-Fi, it is employed for the transmission of small size orders needed for open and close functionalities, such as lights on and off. Wi-Fi Devices that run on Wi-Fi connection to the internet via your home router the same way your smartphones and computers do. Wi-Fi allows you to connect devices such as smart TVs and refrigerators without extensive wiring. The protocol uses 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz depending on the amount of data that devices send over it. Wi-Fi routers using the 2.4 GHz band can cover up to 150 feet indoors and 300 feet outdoors. Wi-Fi networks support some of the fastest smart home protocols. Setting up Wi-Fi is easy, and you don't need a hub to connect to devices. The technology can be helpful in IoT apps that don't have to worry about power drain or require a long range, such as a home security system. Nest Wi-Fi routers also connect to most Wi-Fi enabled smart home devices. In addition, a single Nest router connects up to 200 devices. Pros of Wi-Fi Wi-Fi enabled smart devices are typically less priced than their competitors. It is also much easier to find do-it-yourself Wi-Fi devices, making it a less expensive option. It is simpler to buy products that are already Wi-Fi enabled. Protocols like Z-Wave and Zigbee may be unfamiliar and appear overly technical to those new to home automation. When it comes to simplicity, Wi-Fi takes the lead. That is when you don't need to connect dozens of devices and only a small number of devices for a home automation setup. Cons of Wi-Fi Wi-Fi consumes 10 times the energy of comparable devices that use Zigbee, Z-Wave, or Bluetooth Low Energy. Your Wi-Fi devices will deplete your battery faster and cost you more money in the long run. Zigbee, Z-Wave, and BLE, on the other hand, are intended for low power devices. Many Wi-Fi routers can only support up to 30 simultaneous connections. If you use a large number of devices, such as smart lamps or switches, you will ultimately reach the device count limit. Matter The Matter is the name of a unifying connectivity standard that will be supported by the majority of smart home gadgets in the near future. According to the Connectivity Standards Alliance's Matter website, Matter is essentially a stamp of approval that smart gadgets perform reliably together. Matter, which is based on internet protocol, will enable IP-based networking between smart home devices and the smartphone apps or cloud services that make such devices useful. Devices with Matter compatibility will initially connect to Thread and Wi-Fi networks via Bluetooth Low Energy. 
but this may change as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi technology progresses. Pros of Matters Because of its simplicity and low cost, Matter makes it easier for consumers to experiment and enter the smart home market. Because of Matter's interoperability, all Matter compliant devices will function together regardless of brand. Another significant advantage is that device control will take place locally on your home network, rather than over the internet, which includes each device manufacturer's servers. Matter's multi-admin feature lets you operate devices from different smart home systems at the same time. Cons of Matters Firstly, you have to wait till it fully arrives in the commercial market. The compatibility of security cameras with the Matter protocol is still in question. This protocol is really new, so the possibilities, incompatibilities, and flaws of this new protocol are yet to be discovered. Thread Thread is a low-power wireless radio technology for the smart home that enables devices to speak directly to one another. Unlike Zigbee and Z-Wave, Thread establishes a mesh network by utilizing any device in your arsenal as an access point. This network can support over 250 devices with multiple hops. As a result, rather than each individual device requiring connection with a single hub-like access point, this distributes the burden more evenly. Each thread-enabled gadget will basically function as a mini-hub, eliminating the need for third-party hubs such as the Philips Hue Bridge or the fourth-generation Amazon Echo. Pros of Thread Thread is a low-power, low-latency wireless mesh networking protocol built on open, well-established standards. Thread devices can run for several years on a coin cell. It is ideally suited for device-to-device -device communication in many-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many nodes. It provides direct device addressability via IP addresses and no single point of failure, as well as excellent latency and power performance for application packets. Unlike Zigbee, Thread does not define distinct application layers. Thread is now a more versatile choice for application layer selection. Cons of Thread Native IPv6 addressing necessities a router conversion from 802.15.4 to a new IP interface. Unlike Wi-Fi, it does not support very high data rates. Unlike cellular wireless technologies, it does not support a very long range. The maximum number of devices supported is fewer than that of Zigbee's mammoth number. There are numerous smart home protocols in total. Wireless protocols are becoming more widespread, although conventional solutions are still trustworthy. Zigbee and Z-Wave are among the most popular, with early adopters including Wink and SmartThings. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are ubiquitous in electronic devices. With its guaranteed interoperability, Z-Wave provides the best device compatibility, whilst Zigbee provides secure, dependable, low energy wireless communication. Unfortunately, this diverse set of smart home standards has resulted in stratification. It's a huge pain point in the smart home arena, with different protocols and developments in protocols occasionally impeding device connectivity. However, the general trend is that smart home technology is improving with new connections, making smart home control and automation easier for end users. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Subscribe to the channel for more smart and useful content. I'll be back with more crazy smart home solutions soon. Till then, keep exploring.